Hello, good afternoon. This is Diecast Looney. I hope you're all doing well on this Thursday afternoon. And today I was going to do a video on, well, I was going to do my um, 10 favourite pickups, is what I was planning on doing, because I have about 35 or 40 odd pickups, 164 scale pickups in my collection. I quite like the pickup trucks. Um, but the one, the, I've, I've ordered two, and, um, and as usual, they haven't turned up in the post. And I thought they were going to turn up. So that sort of put a bit of a downer on that. So anyway, so I was wondering what should I do now? Because I had it all planned out what I was going to do with them and how I was going to do it. So I thought, well, I haven't done anything on Johnny Lightning for a while. So I thought I'd do my five favourite Johnny Lightnings. Now, I don't have masses of Johnny Lightning castings. I think I've only got about 10, 15 um, Johnny Lightning castings. But uh, anyway, nonetheless, I thought I'd, I picked out my favourite five and a couple extra. And I thought I'd just do do this, something just, just for pure pure fun, you know, uh, because I can. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to take it, get straight into it. And the first one we're going to look at is the 1984 Oldsmobile Cutlass, which I've had for a while now. Can't exactly remember when I got it, I'm truthfully honest, but... Uh, I just really like this shape and uh, this came in a couple of different versions when you bought it. Um, this one was the one I wanted because it had the, um, I think it says BF Goodridge on the tyres there. But uh, yeah, very underrated car. Um, I think back in the 80s when this thing was around, they weren't very powerful. Obviously, you know, that this was the sort of muscle car era, it was pretty much done and dusted. But uh, it's in a sort of a metallic, I would call it a sort of metallic grey. But uh, it's really cool. So it says cutlass on the plate there. It said it's the usual stuff painted details on the lights, rubber tyres, metal base, all that good stuff. But just a simple casting. And like I said, I really think it's cool. Here's the leaf. But uh, anyway, so that's the first one. And the second one's this 72 Chevy Vega wagon, which um, at the time when I bought this, I was actually going after, I think it was, a, they do they do um, Johnny Lightnings in a tin. Um, I wanted the more plain, standard uh, Vega wagon. But they dead sold out. So I picked this up from the, uh, is it the Street Freaks or the Freaks range? I can't remember now. I think it's supposed to be like a demolition derby car, banger car. But uh, I'm glad I bought it because it's really cool. You know, again, it's just different. 777 on it. It's got, obviously, the windows have been removed. Yeah, hit it's big in Vegas. Vegas. But yeah, really cool. Some like a sort of goldy colour, metallic. You've got the wheels, have got the lines painted on them. Again, just another car that I ended up buying. I'm glad I bought. See the uh, engine poking out. Got no bonnet on it. But yeah, really cool. Now I know some people they sort of, you know, I wouldn't say complain, but Johnny Lightning sometimes their scales a little bit small, but uh, it doesn't really bother me, you know. Um, they still match up well in the cabinet and everything else. Now this is the uh, brain switched off. 1967 Chevy Nova SS 396, I think. In this really nice, not sure what colour orange is, or gloss orange. It's got a lovely dog dish hubcaps on it. See it says Nova there. You've got SS on the front. It's got some plate detail, but it's very small. There's the back. It's just a really cool casting. Got the bonnet vents there. So we get the bonnet up. There you go. Bonnet lifts up. Reveal the engine. A nice little detailed engine. The 396 V8. But yeah, very cool. And this one, if I remember rightly, this came as a double pack which came with this 69 Dodge Cornette. 
uh, RT convertible. It's got the usual sort of Mopar wheels on it. Again, really cool. Interior's done quite nice. Get a bit of light on it. See, it's got the four speed there. Yeah, done really well. Got the got the uh, sun visors. You can see RT on the front. Again, bonnet opens nicely. You can see the uh, orange coloured. It's the usual typical Mopar orange. I'd say Hemi. It was like a Hemi orange, but I do believe this isn't the Hemi. This is in this particular version. I think it's got the 440 in it. But yeah, you can see it's got actual, the actual bonnet scoops or bonnet vents or forced induction. I'm going to call it Ram Air type thing. Is actually real on this. So actually. Yeah, you can just make out 440 on the bonnet. But yeah, very cool. And then number, what's that, number five is this 1967 67 Plymouth. Uh, I think this is GTX. In this dark, dark blue. And again, you can see it's got the four-speed manual in it. Like the way you can actually, if you look down past the seats, you can actually see it's got a textured floor. And all this, where the uh, folding roof would be, all the, you know, it's all that's all textured with little bump, little pins, and you can see it's got texture. So, like I said, they, they do put real, real decent effort into these cars. I really do like them. I should get some more, really. Painted rear. And again, the bonnet opens on this one. You can see the twin snorkel on the air filter there. Yeah, very, very cool. And then the extra couple that I think I was going to show, just push these back a bit, is this is one of my particular favourites, funnily enough. It's the 1968 AMC AMX. Um, in this particular version, if I remember right, this has the... Uh, three nine uh, three three ninety V eight in it. But yeah, again, very cool. In this sort of metallic brown with the stripes over the top, Got like a beige interior. Let me see the. I think it's a four speed in it. I can't remember now. I need to pick up the plate detail. Air Max. Three ninety. See the exhausts. And again, the bonnet opens on this one to reveal a reasonably detailed engine, 390 V8. And they're just, they are, they've said they're just really nice cars. They've been especially nice since they've been taken over by the round two group. But uh, I, have, I have got a, like I said, I haven't got many Johnny Lightnings, but I have got a couple here that are from the early 2000s as well, which are done very nice. I will show them again at some point. And then the last one I'm going to show today is this 51 Hudson Hornet. Again, I think this is from the Street Freaks um, range as well. Um, and again, it's really cool. It's got this sort of silver flames down it. You can see the Hudson, so the Hornet badge there on the side. Got some plate detail. But yeah, it's cool because it's all blacked out black windows you've got sort of menacing looking front and this nice grey steelies and what I like about this if I can get it open so I'm, I'm get it open a second is how well they've done the engine you can see it's got the twin H you can see the twin H air filters there but yeah really really cool really like that one so that's my Johnny Lightnings I'm going to show for today. But uh, And also what I am going to do is I'm going to do another giveaway. And I'm going to be giving away this one this time. Because I have, I actually have three of these. This uh, 2018 Camaro SS Hot Wheels ID car in a really, really nice Spectraflame orange. Which uh, I'll quickly show you. 
and there's the car from the inside or on the on the uh, app mode and there's the car but I'm not going to give the details today about the giveaway I'm just going to um, I'm going to do it I think what I'm going to do is when my um, other cars turn up um, which hopefully should be on I'll say they should be here tomorrow so if I say in the next video on Saturday and then I'll give all the details on the giveaway um, I'll do the usual thing I'll do a video on the cars that I've just got and then I'll do the details on the giveaway. And it'll pretty, pretty much be like last time. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'll, I'll give the details on the giveaway at the, on the next video. So stay tuned for that if you want a chance to win that uh, 2018 Camaro SS uh, ID car. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, all have a nice day.